Hi everyone, this is Kelly. I'm the dyer and owner of Lady Lama Fiber Company, and today you're joining me in my dye studio at Lady Lama headquarters so I can demonstrate for you our Nitty Nasty. This is a three-in-one spinners multi-tool that we developed based on our own needs from traveling to shows and bringing our spinning with us. We wanted to have the tools at our disposal without taking up so much space in our spinning bag. So, here you can see the Nitty Nasty fully assembled in the one yard wrap nitty naughty configuration and here you can see it disassembled into the nasty pin configuration and then here on the handle is also a wrap per inch tool so that's the third tool that we have incorporated into this design i'm first going to show you how to assemble and disassemble the not the nitty nasty and then i'm going to show you how to or how i wind a center pull ball on a nasty pin there are a lot of different ways to do this I'm just going to show you what works for me. And this is the optional drawstring bag that you can purchase with your Nitty Nasty so that all of your pieces, when it's disassembled, fit right back in here. You can pop it in your bag and away you go. Now what I particularly like to use the Nasty pin and the center pull balls for, the hand wound center pull balls for, is winding singles off of my spindle when I am spindle spinning. And the benefit to this is that the way that I wind center pull balls on the Nasty pin, I have a very firm center pull ball. If you can see that, that is not collapsing like a crank winder ball is so apt to do. And this means that if I wanna take the inside and the outside strand and do a two ply off of this center pull ball, I'm not going to get that horrible tangle that you can sometimes get with the uh, crank winder plying balls. And here in the corner you can see our new design. This is a spindle kate. We're making these to order. They are not going to be an in-stock item. Just like all of our wooden handmade tools, my dad is the, the mastermind, the artist, the genius behind this. So this basically is the design and this is one that holds a single spindle. We also have a model that holds three spindles. And basically it's holding your spindle upright and under a little bit of tension so that as you pull your singles off your spindle, you can do so easily and without tangles. You can do this to ply directly off of your spindle. You can do this to wind a center pull ball of your singles. But if you're interested in one of these, just let me know. Like I said, they're not an in-stock item, but we are doing them as custom orders. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to assemble and disassemble your Nitty Nasty. And then I'm going to show you how to wind a center pull ball like this one. This is mill spun. This is not hand spun. Um, I'm just using some of my lineage um, worsted weight yarn so that it's a little bit easier to see when I'm demonstrating. So if you order online from us, this is how your knitting LCD is going to come. You can see here that the handle and then the base of the Nasta pin are actually two separate pieces. And then you have the top screw and you have the two cross arms. So you're just going to unscrew the handle from the head of the Nasta pin. And this screw is quite long because it needs to accommodate the width of the crossbar. So it does take just a minute. And this one is my personal Nitty Nasty and it has this Chrysocolla turquoise gemstone inlay. We also have um, inlays of different gemstones and we have ones that have wood burn details you can check out what we have in stock online at our shop. Now you can see that each crossbar has a hole and this peg will fit right in. And these are all handmade. So one of these is going to fit better on the top than the bottom. All right. And then I'm going to take the top screw. And again, this screw is quite long because it needs to accommodate the width of the crossbar and just hand tighten it. There's no need to tighten this 
down very, very tight. Okay. And you can see that this one's a little bit longer than this one. They are all handmade and so the sizing does vary a little bit as to the length of the handle. But what does not vary is the length of this wrap, which one time around is one yard. And then in order to reassemble it for use as a nostapen, I'm just going to unscrew the top screw, pop off our cross arm. And then reassemble the handle to the Nostapen base. And the wrapper inch gauge on the handle does measure one inch so that you can accurately measure the grist of your singles or your yarn. Always a handy thing to have along with you and you'll never lose it because it's right there in the handle 